What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake. You're watching Roman Cook. Today on the channel, we're trying something new. Recently, Mr. Chud's Barbecue and Mad Scientist's Barbecue got together. Bradley had some mesquite wood, and they did a brisket mesquite. And let me tell you, the comment section was active. Lots of people were saying they've been using mesquite all the time and they've never had a problem. Other people were against it. It was quite interesting. But what got me thinking is, hey, a pellet grill isn't known for putting out the most smoke. What happens if we do a brisket and mesquite? Just so happens I had a couple of bags of mesquite in the garage. I broke out one today and we threw on a 14 and a half pound brisket. Now that was a couple hours ago. Let's rewind and look how we started our day. First off, we unpackaged our brisket, started trimming this guy, start from the top, and as always, I usually start doing a little bit of silver skin on the top of the flat, cut off the sides, break away some of the deckle fat, and just keep trimming it until we're done. Then we flipped it over, started working on the fat cap. Now what I did is I pulled all the fat off that point, once we were happy with the seasoning, I let it rest for about 30 minutes while the yoder got up to temperature. We're running at 250 today, and we've got our brisket on the top shelf here. We've got the point closest to the stack. Most importantly, we're running on the second shelf because I want it up in that smoky goodness. We're gonna have all that smoke and hot air running over the top of that brisket, try and render out that fat, our goal is probably to wrap this around 170, 180. We're gonna let the bark tell us when. I'll bring you back in a few hours when we made a little bit more progress. It's been six hours, slight change of plans. The wind is picking up. There's no way I'm gonna be able to run my lights. So we're gonna fast track. If we have a look, we're looking not too bad. I really wanted to let the bark set up a lot more and let the fat render. We're just, we're not gonna have time to do that. So, you know, the actual game plan was to go full on chud and try my first foiled boat. I have not done that on a brisket yet. However, Mother Nature has told us that that's not gonna happen today. So, you gotta adjust when you're cooking. So as you can see, we're not too bad, all things considered. This is some con beef consomme. It's like beef broth, except for a little bit more potent. And then it's got some Worcestershire sauce in it. And then my new favorite, the W sauce, which is Worcestershire sauce, but more potent. And we're just gonna use this to help Brace things a little bit. And what we're gonna try here is what we call, or not what we call, what is commonly called the Texas Crutch. I've actually never foil wrapped a brisket before, so I still get to try something new. The goal here is to make sure that this is super tight. We don't want a bunch of steam forming around it. And just like that, we'll put this guy on. We'll let it keep cooking and I'll bring it back for the next step. It's been eight and a half hours. We're at 204. We've used 
our thermopen here and we've probed for tenderness throughout and we're ready to pull it off and rest. Now, eight and a half hours on a 14 pound brisket sounds a little quick. Four hours in, I bumped this to 275. And then after we wrapped it, I bumped it to 300. At that point in time, it's wrapped. It's not gonna get any more smoke. And I wanted to make sure we had some daylight left. So I just cranked up the temperature. I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna give it an hour rest. Just put it inside and let it rest for an hour and then we'll carve into it. So mother nature took over. We had to come inside, but we've got a brisket to look at. It's been resting for about two hours at this point. I have not had a look at it yet. Let's see if I can find my way in here. Got the juices there, might as well use them. So initial thoughts, we're a little dry on this end, but we're about to find out if the Texas crutch works. And I'm sure it does. I've just never used it before. You can see the fats actually nicely rendered. Could have used a little bit more, still sticky. Let's have a look. Not too bad, not too bad. Was a little nervous there. Is it gonna be as good as I intended? Maybe not. But so far right now, it looks better than I expected. The last thing you want to do on a brisket <laughs> is turn around and rush it. <clears throat> Got the dangle test we're looking for. Pulls apart nicely. Good moisture. Nice little fat cap there. It's rendered actually not too bad. Overall, better than I expected. I was a little, <laughs> not gonna lie, I was a little nervous there. Uh, but we've got a good smoke ring, we've got some good texture, some good moisture, a little dry near the end, uh, but as you get into the, towards the center, no problems there. Points looking good. Could have used a little bit more fat rendering in there. But not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Try a piece right here.
all things considered, not a bad brisket. I'm actually, I'm surprised. I was quite worried. Is it perfect? No, there's always room for improvement. And at the end of the day, you can never rush a brisket. It doesn't matter. Wrap it in foil, throw a bunch of liquid in there. You just, you can't rush, rush a brisket. Whether through as a curveball, we adopt, we adapted. At the end of the day, we got a brisket. It's got some good flavor in it. Now, the one thing about using the Texas Crutch method is you get a whole bunch of au jus. And let me tell you, it's about to wrap up. And I tried a piece of this dipped in here. Mm. Be saving this for some sandwiches. That, my friends. That you gotta try, that's really good. To wrap up the premise of this video, does mesquite work on a pellet grill for brisket? I think so. It really amps up the amount of smoke flavor that you get in your brisket. So if you're cooking brisket and you're not getting enough smoke and you want some more, give it a shot. Does it put it over the edge? It's up there, but I don't think it's too much. I think that you're gonna have to decide that one for yourself. Give it a shot. If you haven't tried the Texas Crutch method, it's worth a shot just for the as you. Thanks as always for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.